So the first question is, can you name a couple of your favorite movies? <clears throat> uh, Bewitched, La La Land, The Dark Knight. The Great Gatsby, for sure. Mm -hmm. The Island. Mean Girls. Mean Girls. <laughs> Slumdog Millionaire. Rush Hour. Rush Hour is good. Uh, Strange Things, definitely. Stranger Things. I love it. Twilight. Scarface. <laughs> Scarface. <laughs> now can you name a couple of directors that you like? Or just that you know of? Um, I can only think of Boz Lerman because I watched the movie last night of his. Christopher Nolan. Steven Spielberg. Michael Bay? Yeah. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Okay. Tarantino. Tarantino. Really okay. good director. That's perfect. So can you name any female directors? No. Alright, so now can you guys name any female directors? Nancy Jane Myers is an American film director, producer, and screenwriter born on December 8, 1949. She is a writer, producer, and director of several big screen successes, including The Parent Trap, Something's Gotta Give, It's Complicated, The Holiday, and The Intern. Her second film as director, What Women Want, was at one point the most successful film ever directed by a woman taking in $183 million in the United States. What attracted you about this story and all that? I think it's a great concept. I mean, uh, I'm just surprised that it's never been done before. Um, and when I read it, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And just that Mel Gibson is going to be in it and the scene where he's in pantyhose. I mean, that's just... I mean, it's perfect. The director and, and Nancy Myers, who, who wrote so much of it and directed it, wanted that to be the case. She had us watch some Tracy Hepburn movies and some early romantic comedies to sort of hope that would seep into what we were doing. So I'm glad that it did. If I'm at the point where I'm making a movie, I'm confident about it. I'm not going to put myself out there and do it. It's another year of my life. I have to be the one that's confident about it. I have to be the most confident about it. My experience in the movie business is that they don't want to give you too many notes. They really want you to figure it out. So that's where the confidence thing, I think, helps. I think if you show up, like I would never take a pen to a meeting, for example. I, I, my personal philosophy, honestly, is I think they want you to feel really confident. They want you to be able to defend what you've done. I wouldn't hand anything in until it works. In 1981, she was nominated for an Oscar for Best Writing Screenplay Written Directly for the Screen for Private Benjamin. She lost to director Jonathan Demme. In 1989, she was nominated for Humanitas Prize for 30-minute network of syndicated television for Baby Boom. She lost to Neil Marlins. In 2004, she was nominated for AARP's Movies for Grown-Ups Award for Best Screenwriter for Something's Gotta Give. She lost to Jim Sheridan. In 2004, she won Alp Duez International's Comedy Film Festival Special Jury Award for feature film for Something's Gotta Give. Of the 1,365 directors, writers, and producers of the 100 top grossing films of 2015, 81% were men and 19% were women. Of 107 directors, 92.5% were male and 7.5% were female. This translates into a gender ratio of 12.4 male directors for every one female director. Golden Globe nominations, BAFTA yeah, nominations. Yeah, I mean, I'm in, you know. I'm in the midst of it now. I'm being, you know, my film came out yesterday. And do you at home? And you know, the reviews. I've read a couple, and then I stop reading them because every time I forget, and I also think, oh, now they're going to embrace me. Now I'm older. I've proven myself time and again. Yeah. Forget it. But do you, uh, do you care? Does, does I it, do care. I do wish care. I didn't care. I wish I was bigger. But you know, unfortunately, like all human beings, I remember the bad ones. As with most successful films, there's a distinct formula to Mayer's films. Essential key feature is a strong female lead. Her work over the decades has proven time and time again that she has an exceptional ability to make the main character very relatable. Despite the constant thematical changes on the big screen, 
Mayer has continued to remain relevant, not only to the critics, but also in the box office.